Hey guys, it's Tame, and before I play the video, uh, I just want to make a disclaimer. This is not my video, this is Rocky's video, um, but he sent it to me and he wanted me to post it on my channel, so I was like, okay, what the hell. Um, so yeah, he even says at the beginning of the video, like, he wanted me to post this, so uh, yeah, this is just a big rant that he wanted to make, and I sadly was busy during the time he made it, so he still wanted me to post it anyway, so yeah, enjoy the video. What's up? This is Rocky Reborn here. Um, hopefully my good friend Tame can uh, put this on his channel for me. Um, and maybe he'll, maybe he will add his own take on things. But uh, recently, um, I'm aware there's a new Toontown server coming out called Toontown Stride, and it has many upon many new features on it. It uses the public Toontown Infinite Source. Um, and they're cracking out new features every day. They're taking suggestions or features we've always wanted to be added. Um, I'm not going to really explain it. Michael SK can explain it. If maybe, you know, just click an annotation on screen or look in the description for my Michael SK's video on this. Because uh, he, he made a really good video um, talking about it. So, anyways, this isn't about talking about the difference between Stride and Rewritten too much. Um, but basically, um... I was in a group and my friend started talking about Joey digging himself a hole or something. So I, I thought, you know, let me go see this post for myself. Now, it's made by Michael SK and it's titled, Is it really a server war or an argument among those in the community? And I'm not going to read the post. He basically, um, I may put a screenshot on the screen. Uh, he just talks about how, is there a server war? No, it's just people being people. And, you know, uh, I'll scroll down a bit. Joey made this big, big comment, um, as you would expect him to, because apart from Infinite, and to be honest, in the past, Infinite wasn't too much of a competition for them. Um, yeah, this is the first time apart from Infinite that Rewritten is having major competition where lots of people want to play the other game. And for Infinite, people were edgy even if they wanted to play it. But Teams on Stride, they're in, they look like they're an amazing game. Trusted people. Um, you know, it's, it's great. Um, and basically, Joey says this whole thing about why Toontown Stride stole, stole the source. And they're not crediting anyone. And... Uh, you know, what have you, and he's saying, uh, it really stings when you don't get credit, and we don't intervene, but, and he says just, before giving a server a chance, take a second to think what their true purpose is, acting as if they're malicious or whatever, how they're achieving that purpose. Now, first off, and I'm going to be reading this uh, as a further comment, I just summarized Joey's post. So, under this post, Michael S. K. says, every Toontown server that is a scene around these days is using Infinite Source. Now, Joey acts like it's a leaked source. He acts as if it's a leaked Toontown Infinite. No, no, Joey, it was, it was public Toontown Infinite Source. And you could say, well, that was some of your hidden source. Toontown Infinite changed the factors of the game so much that it's barely your source. And as as far as I know, I'm no like coding wizard or whatever, but my friend John Code, John L5, Sparky, Sparky, or Rin, whatever you want to call him, he says eight, probably like 85% of the AI code. Yeah, he said he said 85% of the AI code can be decompiled. I don't know it if he's exaggerating or not, but let's just assume he's not, let's just, just assume he's talking real. Um, and just, I know the story with rewritten. You guys, at first, were rewriting the code, then it was taking too long, so you said, fuck it, and then you just got the, the Disney, the Disney code. Because most of the Disney I code was, was good enough. Um, so, Joey was like, oh, we wrote, we rewrote the engine. No server's ever done what rewritten has done. And then Michael SK says, 
Oh wait, no, I already read what he says. Master Voltage says, yeah, sorry, Joey. I don't know you that much or your team for that matter, but you really misunderstood what Toontown Stride is, and you aren't the first. And how a lot of people have. Um, he he says like you know it's uncalled for to write the post, and it's true. He says because, and I, and I'm saying this myself. This Master Voltage didn't say this. Um, competition's good. It's good because it gives people more variety on servers, and it'll not only strive um, for TTR to work more, but Toontown Stride will want to work more to try to beat TTR. It'll cause both servers to try to step up their game, and it gives variety. So there's two goods. There's nothing wrong about this. It's wonderful. I love this competition. Toontown Stride's doing an amazing job, too. Now, they said the reason that they haven't included credits to the source code yet is because the game's not out. And that's true. All I've done is release three videos on it and some Reddit posts. Um, of course, they're not going to have to credit the TTR team immediately. Joey wants it there, and he wants it then, and he wants it his way, because that's what he's used to. That's his way of life. And the TTR team is probably like, okay, guys, do this, and I want it done now. Um, that's obviously not the case, because TTR is always slacking off, but... And then another Toontown Stride number, um, Bixo TTS, is that how you say it? He's just not gonna lie, he's pretty offended by this. He personally plays TTR, and he thinks everyone appreciates what they have done. Toontown Stride is always planned to give credit to those who deserve it. I have not seen one Toontown Stride member say anything rude about any other server, especially rewritten, as we all respect you guys so much. With all due respect, a lot of what you said isn't true. And then Joey, you know, Joey's getting a lot of hate. Joey's getting downloads for this. Joey said, again, this post is not against Toontown Stride. Bullshit. That's not against Toontown Stride. Anyways, I don't know enough about any server to speak against it. You just were speaking against it. You were saying to not to trust them and to think things through. What a fucking flip-flopper. Anyways, he says, as of right now, though, you haven't given credit to anyone. I make an illusion. I make the work look as your own isn't right in my eyes. They're not making an illusion, Joey. They just really struggles with what they've done. Anyways, yep, someone replies, um, Disser from Toontown Stride says, Toontown Infinite's leaked code, it was released to the open um, when the game closed, and that is true. They are over a thousand commits in, and that is also true. They've heavily changed the code. I can, you know, I had a little bit of association with Stride. I know what it was called before, and how Origins and Stride were going to merge at one point. But me and Voltage had our differences, and... Hopefully we can move past that, because I want him to do what he's doing. This is amazing. Um, anyways, a guy responded, um, lol, it looks like he's, he's, and referring to Joey, it look, looks like he's trying to start something, or has gotten way too confident with the amount of playing his game. True. Of course a guy's going to be cocky and confident when 5,000 of the fanboys play his game. Probably why the moderating of the game is going downhill in TTR. That is also very true. Um, they have no competition, so they can fuck up all they want. People still have to play that game if they want to play some Toontown. Not anymore, Rerun. Not anymore. Then my friend Ottercon said, um, Squirtle616, he said, If there's one thing to describe perfectly and without error, what Joey did is this. Just this. Exactly, I couldn't say any better myself. Um, I scroll down again. Someone asked, "Do you publicly credit the previous previous work? If so, where?" And then the Stride staff said, "It will be on release." And then someone says, "So not in every distribution? Why not?" Now that this person who keeps asking the questions is like, is a, they're like a teacher who's like r really interrogating a student, like, "Why didn't you do this? When are you gonna do it?" Like. Holy shit, man, calm down. Take a chill. Anyways, the Toontown Stride member said, because there will be no test server, only release. It's going to be amazing. we have to see how that works out. Um, let's scroll down a bit here. Joey has four downloads. 
Someone asked for proof that um, Stride took the TTI source. And then Joey said, what you need proof of? For being based off of Infinite, I didn't think that was a secret. Just look at their chat bubbles. Again, he's acting really cocky and overconfident. Um, and Master Voltage replies, it was never a secret. And it's influenced me to show the Stride code in a video comparing others. Code. Chat bubbles were honestly our own three lines of code. It wasn't hard to add, but credit has not come yet, respectively, due to us not releasing the final website in the game. The website is only up now to really hear from the community's suggestions. From what I've seen, that's true, because they're adding a lot of stuff. Anyways. And then some people are just, you know, supporting. And that's, that's pretty much it. Joey's digging himself a hole. He's getting too cocky with the power he has. Joey, if you're watching this, you're fucking up. You are fucking up. Get your shit together. Get your game together. If you would focus more of your time, more of your effort, onto what? Just working on your own game. And, st and when I say work on your own game, don't work. Don't work on the CEO event. Don't work on the new playground. Work on the game. All right. Don't work on that CEO event you have planned. Don't work on the playground. Don't work on the. Well, you already done the tune hall. Don't work on that stuff. Get the game out. Shit, it's not that hard. Just the other day in the Toontown offline chat, they they just announced that they finished the last feature in the game. Shit, come on, get your crap together. You're getting too cocky with your power. I'm trying to save you here. Every rant I've ever done or rewritten is trying to help you, whether you believe it or whether you don't. I am pleading here. See some sense and fix things. I like Toon Tommy Ridden. I used to be a Toon Tommy Ridden fanboy. I love this game until you fucked it up. You fucked it up around this time last year. Don't do it. It has a lot of potential and you're being an idiot. Your whole team's being a dumbass and you're fucking it up. Don't fuck it up. God. I used to like this game. I used to like it a very lot. Last summer was the best summer I've ever had because I was playing TTR all day long with my, with my pals. That was really fun. That was a blast. That's a really fucking it up. You guys gotta step up your game. You really do have to step up your game. I may, may have said some things in this video I shouldn't have said, but I don't care. You need to fix your shit, TTR. Get golfing out. Get field offices out. Get parties out. Get doodles out. Whenever someone says, uh, I've just come back from a hiatus. What does TTR not added or have added? Or like, what's the difference between this server and this server? People brush it off and say, oh, TTR doesn't have that much left to add of TTO. Yeah, they do. TTR has a lot to add from TTO back. Probably over 25% of the whole game. What? Golfing? Grand Prix? leaderboards, parties, field offices. I'm probably missing a lot here, too. Shit. D did I say doodles? God, there, there is a lot to add back. And instead, they make their code, Joey coded most of ToonFest, from what I understand. I don't know. Um, Whatever. Instead, they're doing ToonFest things, and they're doing their CEO event, and they're doing their DNA for their new playgrounds but they're not working on the game what they're working on isn't the game no that that's their own imagination or something that's probably gonna happen in God knows how long cuz this time last year we were all thinking the end of beta event is coming Christmas or something it's 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 been a year since Toon Fest 2014 what new features are there nothing Lost by HQ, that's it. Nothing. I'm not going to count the tweaks as a feature. Even a script kitty. Even a script kitty could edit the localizers and edit uh, some files to do that tweak event. Uh, the tweak update. Apart apart from the cog thing, the, the new GUI or whatever, but that's the only good thing out of that uh, uh, tweak update. Toontown Infinite, they added 360,000 new colors to the game. TTR added 12 or whatever. Tweak update doesn't count. All they've added is boss bot. In one year, what have they done? Boss bot. Apparently that's good enough for everyone. 
because they've already had boss spot ready at the same time the other HQs. The only thing different is the design. And I don't see, you know, Roger Dog, Slate, uh, Roxy, they're not coders. No. Their job is to develop new content for the game, as in models, uh, graphics, so that's no excuse for, um, for this laziness. It's TTR could have been done, and they could have had the game finished in two months. It's two years. Get your shit together. I love Toontown. It's my childhood game. I would love to continue playing it. Because of this, you know, the stupid staff, and the com and frankly, the community who who allows this to happen, without criticizing TTR, of course, we're beginning to now, but at the beginning of the summer, like June, July, there are only two to three thousand people on in the daytime during the summer. August, or late July to August, there's now five thousand people. I wouldn't be surprised if TTR started botting their, uh, their players, because I, I think it was a Reddit post or video. People have been noticing some bots, so um, just gonna put that out there. TTR may be getting desperate enough to bot their own their own players. How does a game jump from 2,000 a day to 5,000 a day in two weeks? Beats me. Can't just be Storm Cellbot. Um, cause, cause it jumped from 2,000 to 5,000 even before Storm Cell died, so. God only knows what, what they're doing with their fingers off their axes. I'm gonna end this video. My good friend Tommy's probably gonna edit for me. And I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go play some good old Pirate 101. Cause that's an actual game with a great community. Well, actually, ironically, they haven't updated in two years. Um, they have, but not with a new playground type area. I guess in Toontown terms. Um, but Part 101, Wizard 101, they have sensible people. Games ran by a sensible company. Um, yeah, there's nothing else to say, really. Great community. Um, you know, um, met a lot of great people there. Uh, one really great person. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, that's a great community, great people. Go play Wizard 101. Go play Part 101. Similar to Toontown. Better game, bigger game. Always updates. Great community. You know, it's a great game. I started playing it 2010, 2011, right after I quit Toontown for a few years. So. Uh, instantly got hooked, and lots of people, of course, won't instantly get hooked because all all they've ever had was Toontown, where people can get carried and such. So I'm not gonna be surprised if lots of people just don't like it. Maybe because of the nostalgia for T for Toontown, because all you've ever played, the only MMO you've ever played is Toontown, and then that nostalgia might be getting to you that uh, you don't want to play another MMO. But you know, Wizard 101, Part 101, they do update kind of frequently. Wizard 101 had their update a month ago. Part 101 had their update today. And that's why I'm loading up the game, because they just had a new update today. The, the, the games are both great, and, you know, you would expect being run by a proper company. Um, T I know I understand TTR is not a proper company. Come on. Step up your shit. It's not that, you know, they might say this, that, and the other thing, but the, the bottom line is they're lazy. They're lazy to enforce a sensible mod uh, policy. They're too lazy to make their game. That's basically all I have to say. I don't know, I've been venting a bit here. Calm down a bit. I, I know I was really going at it with TTR. It's a shame. I... Me, my friend Dr. Popcorn, we were really excited for TTR. We we were the definition of TTR fanboys. And I'm happy to admit that. It was a fun game. You know what I said was? It was a really fun game. 
Now, never in a million years unless I change something. Really was a fun game with a lot of potential. They threw it all away. They threw it all away just because they thought they had manipulation over fanboys. But, now it bites back. And I want to continue talking actually here, but I don't know what to talk about. Tommy may add something in. We may rant together on this, but. This is bullshit. Anyways, that's all to say. Goodbye.